everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. People have noticed that Victoria Brightshield is taking a break. Uh, they're reacting to Vivi saying she's going on break from June 2nd to June 8th, and a lot of people are, are saying that it's suspension. Uh, want to bring attention to the fact that 13 days ago during a stream titled Crow Country, uh, at the 2 hour and 52 minutes, she states, I have a quest that I have to go on early June, so I'm going to be away. So she could be planning something. It could be something, you know, a project that she's planning on. It could be something personal that she has to go through. You know, it could be some kind of treatment that she has to go through. We don't know. It's a lot of speculation here. A lot of rumor here as well. Of course, because we know that Nidhi Sanji is now known for their stealth suspensions, for their skin walking, for their, you know, walking as the, the talent that they're saying, that they're, they're talking about, all that kind of stuff. We know this happens with Nidhi Sanji. We know this has happened in the past. So, of course, this is a point of contention. No one believes anything because Niji had a history of disgusting suspensions. Exactly. They have a history of these type of things. So that is going to absolutely be an issue that people are going to be, you know, going crazy about, especially nowadays. Uh, point is, no one believes anything that they say. It's it, real problems. You cannot simply take Niji's word at face value. That's the issue. If they were trusty, trustworthy, believable, whatever you want to call it, then that would be an issue. That would be one issue, but it's not trustworthy, believable, or whatever. She knew she was going to get suspended. That's insane. Lisa and Al Gaib. I don't know what that means. Definitely see it as being planned trip with the family or something. It could very well be a planned trip. Let's hope it's something positive. I'm hoping it's something positive. It's not a stealth suspension. I don't want anybody to get suspended. I don't want any stealth suspensions going on. Can't really blame anyone in the situation like people are saying because of what's happening. So yeah, uh, Vivian Break, she says, friendly reminder, stream tonight, and I'm going on short adventure week next week. So no streams for June 2, two through 8. It's like, I don't think, um, I, I also don't think Nidhi Sanji does stealth suspensions like in, in advance that way. I don't think they're going to do it in advance that way. They do it immediately. They do it because of you, what you said, uh, you're suspended immediately, effective immediately. I think they would do that. 99% sure it isn't a stealth suspension. Just like I'm saying, because she gave specific dates and beforehand, I don't think it's a suspension. It's just, it doesn't, click with me it being a suspension Niji is being incapable of any kind of good PR but the the real thing is that she's giving specific dates it seems weird I don't know we don't know it could be anything but self suspension seems less likely to me uh time of teen are openly complaining and completely left in the dark regarding the NBA it's way too convenient yes it's a very convenient time but um what is it correlation does it doesn't equal causation I believe is the the the, the phrase that I would like to use in this one because, yeah, correlation does not equal causation. While I was out for a pack of milk and a carton of smokes, I found a space bandit robbing a, a konbini. While on my heist, I met someone's city ghost stealing the boot. And there we go with Mogu Ghost and Sunny Explosion. Uh, they're Victoria Bright Shields. Victoria Bright Shields, one of them, of course. It says, no speculation. Just thought it was funny. That's all. So just adding that as kind of like a funny part at the end part, uh, unless they're actually going on a whole collab or anything like that, you know, just leave the rumors as rumors which is what i'm gonna do i don't think it's still suspension it's just a rumor for now i am being told that this specific story may not have any teeth to it it may just be an accusation or a rumor that someone's trying to pass around because someone tweeted that there was unauthorized use of the credit card buys from official store the credit card gets used this is a tweet from them uh specifically in case if they end up archiving it this person says recently my credit card was used fraudulently what's more os is used Almost missed it because the site was regularly, but I was able to notice it because I wasn't using the OS. There is, is this is an accusation. This isn't, an, an, uh, you know, not something substantiated because they don't have actual redacted proof. Like if they had redacted proof, like they can redact their name, they can redact the card number, they can redact it until the last four of the credit card, and let's put last four, last four, that type of thing to kind of put more proof. But this might just be an anti trying to force these things on here. It's very easy. Uh, they reply, they could not answer my questions through the fraudulent transaction. Uh, that is untrue because of the fact anytime I've had a fraudulent transaction, they said, yes, we can fight this for you. Yes, we can, uh, you know, stop this. We just need your information. And basically, if it's my credit card, then of course, they're going to know just we need your information. And then we can fight this for you. It's so easy for this to be fought. A little dissatisfied with that response. So it'll be more careful when making purchases online store. But yeah, this is... Um, seemingly the person either doesn't know what they're talking about doesn't know uh, how to deal with credit cards correctly or is just trying to push out information to make someone look bad because like on on my credit card every single time there's been fraudulent no notices number one they tell me they go they're, they've noticed that it's fraudulent charge they've stopped the credit card itself they're sending me a new one 
and they need my information real quick and I call them on their actual number to uh, let me know, let, let them know, yes, this was something that I didn't do. I want them to send me a new credit card. I want them to stop the fraudulent charge and that's what they end up doing. So it's pretty quick. Credit cards nowadays, especially MasterCard, Visa, etc., they're pretty proactive with what they do. So I am kind of just like pushing that aside. Eight hours, uh, eight dollars an hour intern. Credit card company, behold my power. Maximum chargeback. Honestly, wondering if that kind of company they're hiring for the new website. So is there a consequence to the major f up? If it's true, if it's true, there would there would not necessarily be, because um, as long as they fix it, they do have a fiduciary duty. But as long as they fix it, they should be fine. Didn't purchase some merch prior to land about maybe a week ago. So um, posted on the Sanji Goods website has too many bugs. The bugs may cause that, but the whole situation, the whole way that this guy went through it, it just doesn't seem it. Some, certain things aren't clicking for me. And as you know, I'm not an Niji Sanji defender. Certain things just aren't clicking. Didn't Niji Sanji run a last support event a while ago? People are reporting glaring issues with their store. It could be the the vendor. It could be whatever credit card processing agent that they have whatever credit card processing service that could be very true but um you know there's certain things that aren't clicking uh but you know just taking this out there as rumor for now the summer jam uh you know week one was already shown week two is here the number of tickets sold per hour after initial uh per day after all these numbers date of week basically all these numbers here the numbers mason what do they mean this is number of tickets sold after girls group one after this first one is of course uh after you know week week two this is all the numbers sold here all the after two weeks it sold per hour uh girls group 1.28 after the first eight hours three was 3.29 but that's because you know it's the, the sudden rush after that's just having a a uh you know a regular sold per day 31 72 needed for 100 percent um basically all these numbers are still going well for the company they're still going well for everything you know it's still going great for them so yeah it's going to it's going to continue going well uh projected ticket sales data sellout 20th of november so yeah they're they're, they're not going uh, if it was the the if it would have kept going in uh the 7th of june but um the boys group looks like it's going to be sold out or close to sold out corona war is not going to be sold out from from the projections at least remember these are just rumored projections projections can be one way or the other um and it looks like they're probably not going to be able to sell out fully uh reason calculated 40 60 max so they may be able to sell out like after the first week it would maybe not after week one it looks like corrected would be 7th of june so yeah looks like actually according to the projections on the second part um the week one corrections looks like they might sell out all their tickets if they keep going at the rate that things are going right now this is week two of course like i said this is anime expo so you're not necessarily going to have all needy soundy fans there you're just going to have maybe someone who wants to go to the concert I've done that before with Love Live, and I've done that before with other concerts where I just wanted to go because I like the I like there being concerts, I like there being stuff like that. So that's a thing, you know. And um, that's what I wanted to put out here. And of course, people are saying, when is Anime Expo again? It's the Fourth of July that weekend. So a uh, single person buys one more ticket. So what? So visually empty, more empty seats. What they don't they, like, a lot of people don't get is that concerts don't care about empty seats. They care about things being sold out. Because that's where they make their money. Kind of rate of sales constantly be sold out before next anime expo or one or the other. It could be sold before the anime expo or before the next one. Next one. It's basically going to be sold out before 2025, but not before this anime expo. So that's the thing. That's the issue. I was just reading it before. Correction. It's going to be sold out before next anime expo, not before this anime expo. This anime expo is on the 2024. I forgot that this wasn't for 2025. I had assumption it was 2025, but this is for 2024. Correction on my part. Oops, my bad. Two different organizations, two different organizations and two different uh, ways of approaching things. Two different teams. The the Nidhi Sanji one, of course, has 10 teams. The Hololive Knight has uh, Dodgers and Hololive. You have Suisse, you have Pekora, and then you have Gura doing everything. And of course, in Japan, baseball is huge. I mean, it's a huge thing in Japan. Pretty much every prefecture has their baseball team in Japan, and they are almost always, almost always part of the World Finals in uh, baseball, the World Finals of baseball, the World Championships of baseball. Not the, not the, uh, the, the you know, regular uh, one over here, the pennant, but uh, over there, you know, the, the, not the World Series we call over here, the oh, actual World Series of baseball over there. Well, I've always had a collab with the baseball team, you, uh, the Yomiuri Giants in Japan, not surprising they collab with the Dodgers. Also need you, but not enough to draw custom art. We have down here, we need a live to represent the team, make 10 teams so the eyes and ears are on us and they talk about the NBA. Hollow Life, so we have Shohei Fan, uh, LA Dodgers it is, LA Dodgers blue and white. What else is blue and white? Kargura, Usada Pekora, and Suisei on the banner, because Suichan, Kyo wa kawaii. Kyo mo kawaii. 
And the fact that they chose the next possible Dodgers home game to showcase this on Shohei Otani's birthday, no less. Oh, they did this on purpose. This was absolutely done on purpose. Such a smart collab for Hololive, absolutely. Gonna be honest, it's giving me Try Guys Witcher vi Watcher vibes. Uh, a company seeing one plan, a service, and doing the same thing and failing. With the original art being the Holo collab has been planned in advance enough to commission an original artist. For example, on the left, you have original art done by an artist because these aren't their, you know, they, they, they have in Dodger Blue. And uh, over here on the right, it's just, you know, stock images pretty much for everything, including the, the freaking teams. So awkward for Nidisanti that they know somewhat that Hololive also got a sponsorship or event with the sports team. Maybe they did. Uh, maybe they didn't. And of course, um, it's looking for a Japanese market. I think collaboration with Dodgers who have Otani would have a bigger impact than the collaboration with the NBA. And this is uh, Cover Corporation, of course. And it's looking normal. Uh, of course, when it drops, uh, any color drops, they drop. All that kind of stuff happens. Hollow made art dedicated to the event. VTubers wearing specific outfits for the sports. Niji copy pasted their most basic overused arts of VTubers to the poster. Exactly. July 5th, Friday night, Dodgers home game, Shohei Otani's birthday, LA, LA Anime Expo first day, all on the same day. It's going to be insane. Uh, that's what I call the hydrogen bomb counter program. They delete the hype from the NBA thing. It's definitely looking that way. It's definitely looking like they are just basically trying to uh, basic. I mean, Hollow Life does these things a lot. Hollow Life absolutely does these things a lot. So it's it's not unheard of for them to do a Dodgers night. Like I said, they, last year they did uh, something for a Japanese team. So it's not unheard of. Since people keep talking about it and people keep asking me, I'm going to keep mentioning it. It's not going to be like a major story. It's not a major story. It, it was and I put it out there. But, um, you know, a little bit of what's going on. So then termination notice, zero rebuttal. Luca cease and desist letter, zero rebuttal against the person claiming made against Luca. Wonder why. Uh, yeah, it's like, here's the thing. She was no longer under an NDA because the NDA she had was December 6, 2021. So beyond that, tw it, the NDAs usually last two years. There is no such thing as an NDA going on for perpetuity. There is no such thing as that. They have term contracts cannot go on for perpetuity for the rest of your life. Contracts last for two years and two years only. Then after that, you can say whatever the hell you want. You might get blacklisted. You might get blacklisted by the company itself, but you cannot legally get sued for it. That's the big thing. To be fair, they did try to say Selene isn't bullied and lied about it in Black Stream. Don't forget Shry Send Effect. They only reopened the wound. This is not Kurosanji News. Discussion Q&A. Flare fixed. Uh, now that's just wishful thinking. Yeah, it's like basically people are saying, honestly, like something they cannot deny. There's a lot of wishful thinking. There's a lot of things going on here. But another thing that I want to mention, of course, is uh, they also pretty much said openly that there was no appropriate legal recourse before April 12th. They said uh, it reacts appropriately to any allegations brought to its attention, including via personal consultation with its HR department since April 12th. This was after she posted her stuff. This was basically they did it as a response to, to doing her stuff. They're saying basically since bef before April 12th, you could not do anything, but after April 12th, you can. So now don't say anything bad about us. They did it in response to bad news. That looks really bad for them. That is really bad for them. Another, after reading it, it's effing funny to try to enforce the NDA past an expiration date and the CN desist wasn't to refute her claims, but just saying, stop saying all these things. Um, it wasn't refuting your claims of signing or anything like that. Just basically stop saying what you're saying. It's making us look bad. Combined with them trying to enforce expired NDA is just really bad stuff. It's just really scummy, you know, a highly detailed document because you did a highly detailed document with help from false ID. And, you know, not they're, they're not doing anything, you know, to try to protect someone from offing themselves or anything like that. It just looks really, really bad. And then one of the final things is on this one is uh, looking back on it. There's something almost poetic about the fact that Luca, allegedly a massive homophobe, managed to debut with three quarters of his genmates being openly bisexual. Yeah, supposedly here is where you remember in the Raziel document, she's, he talks about, you know, not liking those types of people and not liking not being LGBTQ friendly, apparently all that kind of stuff. Kind of was funny AF because neither believed them at first. It ha happens often to assume people who deny something a lot are actually the opposite. The louder you scream, the more it makes you look guilty. The dude who is so grossed out would never do something like that. He probably just afraid to admit it. Could very well be true. Uh, not just Lolly, but an image of Matsuri getting that. Uh, someone could also be said about Uki's co-workers. Uh, a transphobe who can is can do a convincing female voice was used during a bit during his his uh, his sh other streams. And finally, some per somebody's talking about the whole grooming thing. Uh, just to be clear, grooming can happen to minors and adults, but it didn't, from the actions going on there, it still didn't seem to constitute grooming. Resent the basic manipulative abuse that has been collated with the term grooming in recent years. No language towards dilution, but for FF's sake. 
Uh, given description of grooming, it also include Luca grooming Roz. Probably the same thing. Could be going both ways. If if someone is trying to get someone, manipulate someone, it could be seen as grooming both ways in this case, if it is true. You know, it can be with an adult, of course, but it can be seen as going both ways. So the conversations do look like maybe Luca was trying to groom Raz as well for to get work and to get other benefits from her. So you could be seeing it both ways. If you want to push it one way, it could be pushed the other. There is a big oof here uh, with the Timberwolves being represented by uh, Illyra, as you can see here, and they lost. They lost and it's gone. It wouldn't make any sense, but it'd be hilarious if for some reason the company decided to suspend the liver associated with it. It'd be hilarious, but it'd be stupid. But then again, it's Nidhi Sanji we're talking about. So that's the thing. But that's the, that's the whole thing. Has been eliminated from championship contention. That's the whole. <laughs> yes. And then we have POV or Nidhi Sanji just played Cloudsdale with Niji. And here is the um, the the music, of course. Uh, it's it's a, a whole song which is copywritten, which I means I can't actually put it here. F man has already been 12 years since Wooden Toaster uploaded the song. Still remember listening to it a few years after it was uploaded. Last place I'd expect a masterpiece to appear. Uh, it's over, Illyra. I have Pomo Mint now. Doki, I miss you. Pomo Mint, Mint, I miss you too. So then Doki, Doki promised to look after you and protect you from the needy sisters. Proceeds to kiss like this art, of course. <laughs> hot mic, hot mic, hot mic. And then we have here. Um, the actual art from uh, Dynasty Reader, Dynasty Scans uh, here. And here is the Copium Wars that are continuing, continuing to go strong. Just a little bit of meme culture for you guys, as always. The Copium Wars did work. Copium Wars is, is, of course, as any meme, copied from other things, but it is a good meme. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.